Hello, Namaskaram. Welcome everyone. I am Anita Nair and I am the MC for the day. I feel so honored and proud to be part of this milestone event. I first met Sophia for a wedding 2018 December and she was performing a part of Alaripu. We were so amazed to see her performing, such a little girl performing very well. So I am here now for her arrangement. I am so proud of you, Sophia. And uh, let's start the event. And we have a special guest here. Let me tell you who it is. So it's Rina Chemensky. She's the member of the New Mexico House of Representatives for the 47th District. She's also the majority whip. Chemensky spent six years as director of the New Mexico chapter of the Drug Policy Alliance. She was the executive director of Emerge New Mexico, an organization that recruits women to run for office. Chemensky was president of New Mexico Public Health Association and chair of the Santa Fe County Health Policy and Planning Commission. Chemensky also served as chief for of staff of Speaker Brian Eglock. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you for coming. Now, let's welcome Sophia and her guru, Mrs. Shalaka Mukhopadhyay. I will be starting with a prayer. It's a Christian prayer um, to begin my audition. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Sir, I'm 
Shadi and Prince Hans, I welcome you all for today's arrangement of Sophia and King Hans. Sophia is learning this art form for the past 12 years. I wish her all the best for today's performance. We are blessed to have a very well known and distinguished artist with us today. On vocal, we show this answer. Thank you. 
a beautiful performance, very emotional and moving, and as always, Sophia. The joy of pure rhythm of Alaripu is followed by Jadiswaram, where there is the added joy of pure melody. Melody without words or syllables has a special power to unite us with our being. In Jadiswaram, melody and movement come together. The next composition is Jadiswaram. The dance, which has basic steps of Bhardhanatyam dance adavar, set into different jadis are set into swaras. In this composition, dancer gives visual form to the swaras through her straight curved lines, creates different design on the flower in the space and also a design in time. So, here it comes Jadiswaram. Ragam Vasanta and Talam Rupakam. Please welcome Sophia.
Yeah. Uh-huh. 
contentment, cool and quiet of entering the sanctuary from its external present. The various moods and emotions of the Naika are executed by the dancer giving immense scope for the expression of various sentiments and shades of emotions. In this particular Padam, Parvati decides to go with Shiva who has disguised himself as a hunter. This Marathi Padam is written by King Shahji who is famous for symbolic emotional verses full of profound meaning. He also composed this light-hearted poem with humorous dialogues. Using very simple folk dialect, words of this romantic verse beautifully portray a fiesty yet charming heroine. Please welcome Sophia.
Krishna 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 Oh, oh, oh. 
challenges usually performed towards the end of a concert. Here, we present Swati Thirunal's popular Dhanasri Thilana, Ragam Dhanasri and Talam Adi. Please welcome Sophia.
towards the end, dance or takes us to the world where our ultimate goal in life is to achieve inner peace. The world has sorrows and enemies are everywhere. However, to fight them, we must fight the enemies within us. Karma or lust, the impure love that creates sorrow, krodha, greed, moha, madha, matsarya. I am confused by all these emotions, enemies are everywhere. O oh, Jesus, the Lord of the universe, you are the greatest giver. Full of humility, I bow at your feet. O oh, Jesus, show me compassion. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to my Arangetra. It does mean a lot to me. I would just like to do some gratitude um, for a couple of special people. So first, I would like to thank God because without him, I feel like I wouldn't be here. And it's thanks to his mercy and salvation that I'm able to do dance. And second, I'd like to thank my parents, Prince Thomas and Shirley Abraham. <laughs> basically have helped me through all these years and have uh, helped me to continue and move forward and even when I feel weak they're there to motivate me and they paid for this all so <laughs> thank you. Um, next I would like to thank my guru Ms. Shilaka. Um, <laughs> she has helped me for 12 years and has taught me Dance, and more than dance, she's taught me life lessons like discipline and to be humble. And I feel that I am a better person because she has helped me with so much in my life. And I I see her as my second mom, so I'm forever grateful. <laughs> um, next, I would like to thank all the artists, all the musicians and singers for coming such a long ways here to be here for my special day in Arangetram and to help me dance and to really support me throughout this journey and getting ready, so thank you. Um, next, I would like to thank Anu Anti. She's the MC and also she did my hair and makeup. Um, and she has been there in the backstage making sure I'm okay and helping me between my dress changes. So. I really appreciate you, Anu <laughs> Um And also, I would like to give a big thank you to Russell Maynard, which um, did all the photography. Um, the the way you see the pamphlet that you see, the pictures on there are his that he took. So thank you very much. Um, and also the videographer. Um, I would like to say a big thank you to you because there, this is live stream, so many more people could see my arangetram. Um, so thank you very much. Um, and I just want to say a little something that I found funny when I was coming up with this, is that I remember from my first day when I started Bharatanatyam dance, uh, you know, we do namaskaram at the beginning of end of class and Ms. Shalaka asked me, or asked the whole class, how many times do you do namaskaram? And I answered seven times. Um, and now that I look back on it, I would do it a se seven times a day because dance has become so much a part of my life and I can't imagine who I am without dance. So I'd like to say that all of you have a special place in my heart as those who came to my Arangetram. So once again, thank you. Now, please welcome Sophia's family to the stage. Please, wel please welcome her guru, Srimati Shala Kamukha Upadhyay. Vocals, Sri Shiva Prasad NN. Mridangam, 
श्री श्रीनाथ बाला वायलिन श्रीमती संध्या श्रीनाथ And on your end. Once again, please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. Thank you, everyone, for attending uh, Sophia Sarangendram. Uh, we are so grateful and delighted that you can join us. Uh, Sophia uh, really did hard work in her uh, Arangendram. Ever since she was five, uh, there was time. She wanted not to do dance, but it's like, but I always see a passion in her in the arts. You know, I don't know many of you know she is a black belt holder in three martial arts: karate, taekwondo, and jujutsu. So, as well as uh, she did a Bharatanatyam Arangendram. I'm extremely proud of her, and uh, thank you for all of you who come to this uh, function. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. It's a, it's a blessing that you all have honored this occasion with your presence. Um, you know, as a mother, this is one of the proudest moments in my life. I am really proud of you, Sofu. Um, and all my blessings and uh, well wishes will be with you all, all of your life. Um, and uh, thank you again, everyone.